I'm learning a lot about country music right now, and this is someone I haven't heard before, I don't think. But um, apparently a very, very famous country singer. By morning, oh, lovely voice. Up from San Antonio, everything that I got is just what I've got on. So, if you hear on that, is you'll hear that it's a little cry break, a little yodel. Is I don't know if I can do it. I can't do a country yodel, okay? Or a cry break is what it is officially called in country music, where you're moving quickly between your chest voice and your head voice. His his voice uh, sounds so stable. He sounds like this all American kind of good guy. Um, I think it's it's really lovely voice. It's really comforting. Um, twenty seven seconds. Everything that I got. If you are a country singer, you better get good at those three note runs. I'm a riddle by morning. They're in everything. They're so subtle, but all these little runs come up again and again at the end of notes. Um, and it's such a country thing to do. So um, the difficult thing is that middle note often goes a bit flat. And you go into kind of a, a minor thing and it, you can get dragged down. So you want it to keep nice and bright, like you're kind of skipping down or like a little giggle. Ah, ah, a little laugh. Ah. They took my saddle in Houston, broke my leg in Santa Fe, lost my wife and a girlfriend somewhere yeah. along the way. That's what she was saying. He's really interesting as well because in between tours he doesn't pick up his guitar and he prefers to just concentrate on the things that he loves. He works on a cattle ranch and things like that and he just wants to do those things and I think um, I'm going to say something that all the coaches in the world are going to go, no, you must practice every single day. And I do think that practice does make you better. However, once you get to a certain point, I think that you can drive yourself a little crazy. And it's really important to be able to give yourself the brain space and the rest so that you can come back to it with a fresh mind, inspired, ready to go. Um, if you keep on going in spite of how it feels then that practice starts to not feel good and when that practice doesn't feel good you don't get good results so it's important that although you practice regularly you take those times off and sometimes that can be months and sometimes that can be a weekend it depends on what works for you and where you're at and what is keeping you motivated and excited and as soon as you don't feel motivated and excited just just take some time it's okay <laughs> No pressure with singing, I think. So it should be fun, right? Up from San Antonio, everything that I got is just what I've got on. I ain't got a dime, but what I got is mine. I ain't rich, but Lord, I'm free. His voice is so smooth. Is 
So he's also a very talented piano player. He sounds like an all round talented man. He's very sweet. He married his high school sweetheart and um, he's really, really private. He likes to kind of go out on stage, enjoy his time and then just go home and be with his family and, you know, be him. And I really understand that because it's quite hard. Um, being the person that people expect from you when you're an artist or a personality and I think it's uh, sometimes nice to be able to again he you know he's probably the way that it sounds like he is with his music he's a person that requires a bit of space to be able to move into his creativity and I totally get that I'm an introvert I'm like that too I need a bit of space from the world and then I can give um, but you know, we all require different things and some people who do this job are massive extroverts and really feed off it and want to be in the interviews and want to be doing that, but it's it's really up to you. Uh, don't feel bad if you are that person. <laughs> It's great as well. That was beautiful and wholesome. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.